10-year-old show. Now, IQ tests could be completely wrong. So, this 13-year-old kid is telling me that literally the universal test of intelligence is wrong? Yeah, I am. Because it could be. And after doing a lot of research on this and relating it back to my story, I actually found IQ tests only measure a fraction of genius. Here's why. Let's begin with a little story. In grade four, I was given the gifted test and I failed. And I didn't know about this. And I was just given a test. I wasn't told, I just did it. And I'm like, okay, whatever, let me just do this test. The point is I didn't succeed, but my teacher never told me. Which is, I'm so grateful for that because what if my teacher told me? In grade four, I was just getting started. What if I let that label limit me? Now, I don't, I'm not really a limited guy, meaning like if someone gives me a label, I won't buy into it. But still, it's just interesting to think about it. Anyways, so in grade six, where I already got things rolling, I was already quite accomplished, my teacher pulls up my file and he finds I was given a gifted test. So he calls my mom. Mrs. Bissonette, may we please meet Monday 3 p.m. I really want to discuss Daniel. See, we found something interesting. My mom's like, Yes, of course. See you there, Mr. Norman. My mom was excited to hear something awesome about her son. So we arrive in a meeting, and he says, Now, turns out Daniel was given a gifted test in grade four. And he's not a gifted child. In fact, some children are gifted in particular areas. But with Daniel, nothing shows up. Nothing. In fact, Daniel's writing is so messy, I'm thinking of giving him the writing disability test. Okay. All right. I'm not gifted. Then I'll become a genius. I did it before. Kids in my class made fun of me because I was a vegan, so I became one of the world's top 100 most influential vegans. I'll just do it again. Teacher says I'm not a genius. I'll become a genius. And I'll share with the world, so anyone who wants to follow me on the journey to genius can. Because I know that so many geniuses live and die undiscovered, buying into these labels that they are not genius, when they simply need to unlock their genius, uncover it, discover it, and develop it. So many people are given the gifted test. In fact, 99.75% of us are not born genius. So, okay, only a quarter of 1% of the population is supposed to be genius. What about the 99.75% of us? What are we supposed to do? Just sit around watching the geniuses do whatever and, like, change the world and, you know, become famous? No, that makes no sense. Why would the creator do that? Here's the deal. After doing a lot of research, I discovered that school and IQ tests only teach and mark one specific genius, analytical genius. But there are three types of genius. See, I discovered there's a creative genius, emotional genius, and analytical genius. But school and IQ tests only test for the analytical genius. So when I was given the gifted test and I failed, it makes sense. I am not at all an analytical genius. We all have our own blend. We all have our own strengths and weaknesses. So it's about working on your strengths, finding which genius is yours. Because honestly, if you're tested for an analytical genius and you're an emotional or creative genius like me, you're gonna fail because that's not your genius. And so the problem is people are growing up believing they're not geniuses, that their life has to be like everyone else. But we are all geniuses in our own special way. And so you must find your genius. Is it analytical? Is it creative? Is it both? Is it emotional? You have to find your genius. We need to develop a new test. We need to scrap the old idea of IQ tests because IQ tests only test analytical. We need to create a new test, the GQ test, the genius quotient test, that test for analytical, emotional, and creative genius because that is the future. So this is the next chapter in my journey, learning how we can change our biology to unlock brilliance. That is genius mode. And this is the foundation for the Daniel Show, for the Genius Mode podcast, for my new book and my new programs. 
And I'm not going to stick to one ideology, one diet, or one belief system. Because a closed-minded lifestyle is the most dangerous. Genius mode is about open-mindedness. We all have our own unique biology, and our biologies are constantly changing. So I want to thank you so much for joining me on my journey. The journey to genius. See you next episode.